Welcome back to Warhammer Geheimdys Snacked, episode what, four at this stage? I think I think it's four. Know, I've lost maybe. count. I'm here with my good friend Josh. Hello Josh. Hello. How 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 have things been? Fine. Thank good. you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm back as the Red Duke of Aquitaine over here in Albion. As he's meant to be. Aquitaine new Aquitaine. Oh my god, that's such a good name for it. And Josh is over here in the mountains playing as Slutty Vampire Lady. Uh, how many years did we play off camera? Um, I'm not sure. We did like... Like ten? Yeah, gotta be at the most, ten. Um, we did ten years because we were sort of at a point where we couldn't do anything, either of us. So, we've sped ahead. Josh has worked out how the, the Le Lamian vampires work. And I've worked out a way to convert all my provinces to, um, to feudal without actually having to convert them to feudal, if that makes sense. I'll explain that more in a minute. Why don't you tell us about what you've been doing? Okay, so I probably should have looked this up before I started playing. But, uh, so, as Neferata, I have the option to establish a Lamian presence in human territories. This costs me 100 gold, but then every year I have a 30... Actually, sorry, twice a year I have... I get an event pop-up that gives me a 33% chance of getting 10 gold, 33% chance of getting 20 gold, and 33% chance of getting 30 gold. So it averages out to about 40 gold a year. So in like two and a half years, I'll have that money back. And so in the past 10 years, I've been trying to do that to as many profits as possible to hopefully snowball my money and then have a ton of cash to build up my realm and then take on the So I'm right in thinking it's anywhere with a secret cabal, right? Well, yeah, that's the places that I've done it to, I think. Right. I'm not entirely so sure. Because got... some, some places it shows as having a secret cabal when I have a presence. Other places it doesn't. I don't really know how it works. But I just know I'm getting a lot more yeah. money by doing it. We sort of assumed that it was because of the event failed or something, but like I'm I'm clicking through the Talibate land now and you can see that like most of the provinces have a secret cabal there. So you've done the yeah. Lord's work. Um the actual capital has warp dust traces, I'm not sure what that means. I think that's a scheme yeah, I thing. I don't know how that happens. Weird. Okay. Well, my goal for the next few episodes, I suppose, is gonna be conquering the whole of Albion. I think once I've conquered the whole of Albion, I'll be ready to head back to Aquitaine because I sort of came to the conclusion that I can't actually form a new kingdom title. Let me just show you quickly. Um, I can't do that because I'm a special title holder and I can't create or reserve equal ranked titles because we count as a host, which is a kingdom level title. So until I've actually got back Aquitaine, I'm really limited in what I can do in terms of gameplay. Um, I think it was to prevent you carrying on playing as the Raid Duke if you lost the initial war. But obviously I cheesed it. We white pieced him and then we moved out before he could swallow us up. So we're in a really weird position where we sort of balked it already. But we'll just carry on as if nothing is wrong. <laughs> What's yep. your plan? As if nothing has changed. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to build up my Lamian presence right. for a bit. Then once I've got some decent cash, I'm going to improve my holdings. It... And then it's kind yeah. of bother some wars. It's kind of pretty useful because it doesn't show up as your monthly balance because it's a you're getting it yeah. through an event. So the AI won't take that into account when they declare war on you. Because you'll you'll just be yeah. like in the economy map mode I imagine if we look at your provinces they'll all be pretty red. Besides your capital they're all pretty red. So you've got that going for you, that sort of subterfuge money making strat I suppose. Yeah, whereas in actual fact Every like ten days, I get money coming. Yeah, you get a lot of money as well. Yep. So, I'm at the point now where I can raise enough troops to siege provinces. That was the main problem last time. I only had the host of Aquitaine to do my bidding for me. Sorry, the uh, the, the Blood Dragon Knights, right? Um, which are a really good army in terms of combat, but there's only 200 of them, so they can't siege anything. So since then. I found out that they're abusing some, some core game mechanics. If I grant one of my vassals uh, a province, that vassal will immediately convert it over to feudal. 
and then I can just kill them and take it back. So I can make them my heir by turning them with the vampire focus into my children, grant them a province, and kill them off. Which is why all of my sons have suspiciously died, because it's a really cheap and easy way to convert your provinces to um, feudal from tribal. So I've got, um, let's have a look here. So we've got actual great Ogham is my capital with a castle and a temple, because we can hold that because we're uh, vampires. Uh, same here, a sepulchre and a castle there. And another castle over here. My son still has this one. And the reason I'm keeping the, the castles is because they just bring in a decent amount of tax. It's just extra tax on top. Uh, also, I vassalized the um, Order of the Blood Dragon. So the guy that was leading them before died. And I granted him a castle because you can sort of exchange a castle in exchange for them building a hospital. With an in-game event. I assume that's meant for like the, the healers. What is it? Sh Sh Shalaya or whatever? Uh, I don't remember. Today. Anyway, um, I think that's the healer god. And I think you're intended to do it on that, but for some reason I can do it on vampires. They'll come and build a hospital in the province, because why not? Um, so they did that, and then I could just vassalize them, because they had a castle in my land. And they said yes, because they liked me. Because uh, we're both blood dragons, so I get the plus 100 or plus 50 modifier or whatever it is with them. So that was pretty handy. So now I've got basically a uh, free mercenary band that cost me nothing. Some good shit. Nice. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start crusading. I think. The only thing I am worried about is that the second I declare war on one of these Albion provinces, they'll call in all their buddies. Yeah, that's probably gonna. Happen. They got 610, 700. I think between them, they've probably got close to about 3,000 men. Oh, probably more than that. Actually, looking over this. You see, he's got some men. He's probably got close to 5,000 men. Plus they're tribal, so they can just spend 500 prestige to summon a death stack. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just going to have to sweep quickly. Hope for the best. Alright. Let's go for Gwan. Ah, uh, Gwan. Father. Um, so once you've got a lot of cash, a whole bunch of dollar... I assume you're yeah. just going to hire our shit ton of mercs, right? Uh, well, first I'm going to buff my holdings. Oh, right, yeah. That's a good idea. Because uh, then I can just have my own decent yeah. troops. Um, but eventually, if it snowballs to ridiculous proportions, then yes, I can hire a bunch of mercs. I think that's probably the safest way you're going to do it now, right? Yeah, probably. Let's pause a sec. Okay, they've immediately raised... They've done exactly what they said they would and spent their prestige in exchange for uh, 2,500 troops. <laughs> Which is a little bit of a pain, considering I only have 1,700 and I need them to siege. But I'm going to assume they've, yeah, they've raised their levy, so they've only got 600 in their garrison. So I only need 600 troops to survive this battle. Um, they don't seem to have called in anyone else yet. Why not? Oh, there we go. Right, now they've just called them in. It doesn't matter. Seeing as this guy's on the other side there. This is going to be tricky. Alright, have I got good commanders? Yeah, kind of. Oh, well, I looked into um, the vampire conversion events as well. And what actually costs you prestige. So, for yours, Josh, it's anybody not a woman. Basically, you can convert any woman freely and have nothing to worry about. Um, for me, it's any man... Uh, or any character, I assume, above 10 Marshall. Oh my god, are we going to win this? Okay. So above 10 Marshall and without, like, weeks and things like that. This is going to be tricky. We're harass tactics, so that's fine. I might lose this battle. I didn't think I would, because I remember these Blood Knights being, like, incredibly powerful. Oh no, we're pulling it back. Problem is, they killed all my main army. So I now can't siege. Probably should have just left those troops down, but... Oh shit, I think I'm actually going to lose. Oh no, I'm actually going to lose. What the fuck? Ah, <sighs> tribes are bullshit. Okay, fuck it, surrender. Right, well that was fun. Good start. <laughs> um, right, I need to reassess. That was a test. A test which I failed. Uh, we can put those troops down for now, actually. Put down all our troops for now. Let them let them regenerate. We can just raise them whenever from our capital anyway, so it doesn't matter. The only downside would be if another one of 
a uh, blood dragon higher than. Yeah, that would be shit. I can also ordain knights if I have four standing knights. So I just need to find a shitload of decent men who want to join my court and then convert them to vampires. Yeah, so you'll do. Invite to court. Uh, invite to court. Invite to court. Invite to court. I'm going to ordain a load of knights and hope that that helps out. I already overestimated how strong the, the blood knights are. Saying that, though, given, like, the first episode, I completely smashed the whole of Bretonia with, like, 400 knights. You'd think they'd be able to beat some fucking, like, drunk, crazed Celts. Ah, uh, man. The Scottish, they're, they're shifty. Damn <laughs> <laughs> Scots, you're in Scotland. <laughs> My god here has been turned into a vampire, and suddenly he's white now. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, okay. no comment. <laughs> is, is that how it's going to be then? Yeah, something, something through Tommy Robinson, am I right? Um, let's... <laughs> oh, for God's sake, wait. <laughs> <laughs> let's, um... Let's, um... Keep converting. Let's, let's move Crit. on quickly. Crit, cover it up, edit that out. Okay, there we go. We've got more blood vampires here. Alright, I think we must have enough standing knights now, right? Oh, I've got eight out of the ten necessary. Okay, I need to ordain two more dudes to make up for the two that ran away. Uh, you're already a blood dragon vampire. Who are you? Weird. And we didn't lose any prestige at all, so that does work then. Fortunately, we have no money now, so I've got to wait for that to come back before I... Uh... <laughs> Before I go to war. Term oh, Roland, dear, oh, dear. vampire. Thank you, Roland. Uh, here we are. So the magnificent red duke. Uh, sure, whatever. I can now ordain knights, I assume. Send Hossam into hiding. If someone's trying to kill him. Oh, who cares? I think this might cost me prestige because he's a lunatic. No, it seems good. Okay, how about now? We need thirty wealth. Before I can ordain knights. Do you want to send me some of that sweet, sweet, uh, slutty vampire gold? How much do you need? Uh, preferably as much as... Oh, thank you. Whoa, that's more than enough. Thank you. You are a kind wife. I am drowning in dollar. That's because everyone else is drowning in... <clears throat> right, I've ordained some knights. Uh, <clears throat> oh, shit. It what literally just turns 10 courtiers into 10 knights. As in an army of 10 units. Well, looks like you're going to need to invite a bunch of people. <laughs> well, they've got 3,000 men, so all I've got to do is invite 3,000 people. And I can match them. For fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Alright. A few moments later. Theodore, come on down. Jerick, come on down. <laughs> I hope you don't want any commanders ever. I've already got loads. So they're all coming to live with the Red Duke now. Here's a vampire. Here we go. Standing knights by one. To a vampire. Standing knights increase by one. Yeah, I do find that quite weird that you, you convert people. When you convert them to vampires, they suddenly become white. I mean, that's, that's something. I don't know. Something seems a bit odd about that. It's a bit uneasy. Alright. Martin Ortigos is now. Oh my god, I thought that. I d honestly thought that guy was called Dankula. He's called uh, Dang Facker. Oh god, no. Uh, Not wrong with this shit. <laughs> For any American viewers. Don't Google those people. Anyone I've mentioned, You'll be disappointed yeah, in time. Don't Google anyone I've mentioned this entire video. Um, except for me. You can Google me. You can Google Josh as well. That is uh, youtube.com slash roll one d 2 And it actually works this time. You can do that. Oh, does yep, it actually work now? I needed 100 nice. subs. And I've definitely got 100 subs at this point. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Nice. It's because of you that we now have that URL forever. Forever and Radomir ever. into a vampire. Thank you, Radomir. Cruc sorry? I beg your pardon. 
<gasps> oh, the Fan Enchantress. Nice. Fan Enchantress Morgiana the Holy. Chaos forces are expanding. She's more basically and more. the god of Britannia. Oh right, she's the she's the the grey or maiden or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Oh shit, she's quite strong. Uh, the Grey Knights have persuaded Fan Enchantress Morgiana to declare her intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of the Lady. So it was a new era of large scale Grailist holy wars, the Crusades. Is that actually what they were called? Can I invite her to be a vampire? Uh... <laughs> oh my god! That would be uh... That's brilliant. That would be pretty awesome. So one thing we did notice when we were setting this up is that there's no option to kidnap. Yeah. Now I may mod that back in oh. because I think it would give us more to do. It would be give fun. me more to do anyway as I'm sat here with my my three options in my options menu. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. We saw something cool. Although I do think it would be a little overpowered for vampires if we could just invite random rulers, um, turn them into vampires, and then they'd like us. I mean, I could nerf it so that it required or it had more chance to fail. Or that it gives a really, really high uh, negative opinion. Right, yeah. Something like that would be fine, I think. Uh, I've got seven knights. I need a few more. Right to court. Luckily, they're spawning just about as fast as I can bring them over here and convert them. I'm avoiding women because I don't know whether for a fact... Because you're socially awkward and smell funny. I mean, you're not wrong. Hashtag insult. Oh god, don't. <laughs> what is this video becoming? <laughs> Alright, turn Hjalmar into a vampire. Thank you, my good friend Hjalmar. To the kindly virtuous, comma. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. <laughs> He's unsightly. I don't think I'd lose uh... prestige for converting an unsightly man into a vampire. Ordain knights. I need one more knight, and then I've got another ten knights. Uh, Javier. <laughs> or Javier. Sure. Javier. Yeah, it's X A V E R. It could be Xavier, but I don't think it is. I feel like he's in, he is Imperial. Right. Turn him into a vampire. He said yes this time. He said no twice and left my court twice, and I keep inviting him back. Did I just. Did I just peer pressure that man into becoming a vampire? Right. Ordain knights. Perfect. Now we have 95 knights. That's pretty good. Out of how many? 212. Sweet. I, that's kind of a cool system, I suppose. They are very powerful, but by god, this is like... Um, joint court, yes. What if I go joint court anyway? I suppose I could bribe people over here, but I kind of need the cash. Um... Invite to court. What about women? I'm sure that's fine, right? Yes, what about women? I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Okay, invite to my court. Uh, she's already a, a strong blood knight. So maybe she counts. Uh, let's have a look. Ordained knights? No, it doesn't count. I think I have to turn them myself. It's a bit annoying. Um... Oh, what is that? What is your fledlinge? Halmar is come asking you to fully join your coven. Yeah, whatever. He is pretty good, to be fair. Uh, you know what? I can't even hire courtiers. I just noticed that as well. It's not like you can like, hire knights. What was it through the option menu? Like, recruit a commander or whatever? Yeah. That's probably to stop you just building an army of beast eggs. I mean... Yeah, but... Oh, shit, this guy's weak. I just invited him to my court. Yeah, I'm not interested in him anymore. <laughs> Get out! Shit, we can't do anything with China. Yeah, I wish they'd... Like, made them Chaos Gods. I mean... Like, the only kicks, I'm not gonna dope. say that I could do that. But I could do that. Um, I've basically been doing... I don't know if you've watched The Elder Kings at all, but... Um, in a video I put up today, I was basically talking about the religion system that I'm building, because we've, we've pretty much come to the conclusion when this character I've got now is never going to die, so we're just going to make him ascend, so I can at least play as a different character. Uh, and he's uh, okay. going to become like a Deidre off-map. So I've, I've been actually learning how to make the off-map Deidre power. So I could do something like that. 
I don't know how long it would take, though. I'll, I'll look into that for next time. As long as, you know, the people watching want to see it. Which they do, because they're sensible. How's it going over on uh, on the mountains? Fine. Just waiting for more men to spawn. I suppose we could try to join core any and just bribe people, but high aim and prospects could work. Uh, Why can't I, for fuck's sake? Um, uh, everything alright? Trying to figure out a way to take this holding off someone. I've imprisoned him for him being shifty as fuck. But I can't take his title off him without taking a opinion hit from my vassals. Oh, right. Although, to be fair, my vassals yeah, all love me. Uh, I assume they're all vampires too, right? It's only minus 15. Will I become a tyrant for doing that? Uh... Potentially. Do you have a revocation reason? I mean, I had a reason to imprison him. Is it no, not so? so... Basically, you only get a revocation reason if they rebel against you. Uh, so okay. if he's if, if he's plotting to kill you or something and you say end plot and he says no, then you can. Uh, you can attempt to revoke title. Gotcha. Uh, but if he's just plotting or something like that, and you chuck him straight in prison, then you have to, you know, go through law, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, I know. Oh shit, I stopped paying attention for five seconds and I have 650 Ooh. gold. Very nice. I've just built a city. Lovely. <laughs> I could fabricate claims. Oh god, sure. 15% yearly. The only issue is, I have to holy war them, right? And if I holy war them, they're going to call everyone and their mothers into battle. Um, and again, I don't want to do that because, like I said, they've all got prestige that they could all spend summoning 2,000, 2,500 troops a pop. Uh, and I don't really want that to happen. Let's let's wait. Let's wait. Let's buy my time. I'm not in any rush. I could do some. Uh, I could do some focuses or something. I've got the business focus on. So just sit here, build up some gold. You know, be a just and kind ruler. And you can tell us what you're doing instead. I am going to kill off. Basically, I want this barony. So I'm going to kill off this guy's heirs. And then that's kill fair. him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? That's fair. And because my intrigue is like a billion, I think I'll be fine. Oh? Yet another peasant family was found butchered not far from where the first grizzly murders took place, but this time the killer was caught in the act. Oh, shit. You know that event you get where you, uh, like a guy is brought to your court and they said that he was found guilty of killing a bunch of people. And then you have a choice to either execute him, chuck him in the prison, or let him go. And then it's like a random chance whether or not he actually yeah. was the killer. I fucked that up. And he, he was not the killer. Oh, right. No. I have a thought. What I could do is force yeah. one of them, the more powerful ones, to become my tributary. Now, they wouldn't be able to call anyone into war that they're not allied with, which is no one besides their own vassals. Okay, that guy died in suspicious circumstances. Uh, we won't worry about that, eh? Um, nope. Don't, don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. I could force this guy to become my tributary. Then he can't join wars against me. In fact, he has to join wars with me. Um, how long does that truce last? 2053. Okay, that's a while. Oh, shit. I have a thought. Oh, that's why. <laughs> what have you fucked up now? So I turned up the difficulty in Elder Kings to very hard. Oh no, what have it you done? Turns out that it carries over across mods. <sighs> Does that apply yeah. to me as well? So... Do we want to... Pause yeah, fix yeah, that. we do. Yeah, morale of armies minus twenty five percent for us. For the AI, they get plus twenty percent tax, plus twenty, plus fifty percent moral or, moral uh, of armies, and plus a hundred percent levy reinforcement rate. The fuck? So basically, <laughs> well, because in the Outer Kings, right? I'm in such a good position. I was like, we'll turn the difficulty up, so we've got something to do. I didn't realize it carried over. Um, but now that I think about it, there is a base, like, 
settings.txt file. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Um, well, this was going to be a short episode then. Thank you very much for watching. And that is why you check your settings before you start. Fucking hell.